What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got Chelsea transfer news to talk about. We've got to talk about PSG possibly hijacking the Udate deal. Mason Mount agreeing terms with Man U. Kovacic might leave to Man City. We're just strengthening our rivals at this point. Kanze is refusing to sign a contract extension, which is very, very worrying. So we've got a lot to talk about today in terms of transfers, including one Zhao Felix who has left the club. Pochettino does not want him. So before we start this journey, do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers because these three months are going to be crazy with transfer news. First topic we have is Manuel Udate. Manuel Udate is on first target so far, the only target identified under Pochettino because Pochettino needs a proper DM in his system. Looking like Chelsea were in the lead to sign Udate. Udate preferred Chelsea over PSG because he wants to play in the Premier League. But it looks like PSG are swooping in to hijack the deal. Now, the main points are that his release clause is 60 million. The reason PSG are being favoured is because they're paying it in two instalments of 30 million each. Whereas Chelsea want to pay the fee in five instalments of 12 million each which is not, uh, of course, preferable to sporting. So that is a huge problem. The other problem for Dati himself, not the club, is that PSG offering him a wage of £85,000 a week, whereas Chelsea offering thirty. I mean, the levels are really different. I mean, Chelsea offering him thirty compared to an 85 k what do you think he's going to take? This could be a smart move from Chelsea if... Udati wants Chelsea and they're going to set a low wage first so he's going to be disappointed then they're going to give him a 45-50 or something so he's going to be like alright that's better and join but then if he might not feel that sympathetic towards Chelsea he's easily going to take the 85,000 from PSG and go there I know Chelsea are in financial problems but I really don't understand how we expect to get a deal when we're paying only 30,000 to the player himself I mean those are very very low wages especially in football, especially in a team like Chelsea. And moving on to contracts, we move on to Mason Mount, who, of course, is not going to sign the contract. Apparently, news has broken out that the reason the contract agreement is not working out is because of his image rights. The dispute is because of his image rights. Mount is probably the most marketable player at Chelsea. You go to the Chelsea YouTube channel, you have Mount at the centre. Mount is Chelsea at this point for the last four years. So, of course, his image rights are probably used a lot and very heavily. But then apparently Mason Mount has some problem with that. Because of it, the contract agreement cannot be sorted. So, as Mason Mount is looking to leave the club, he has apparently agreed personal terms with Manchester United. The main problem for me here is I've accepted the fact that Chelsea will have to sell. But we are selling to Liverpool, Arsenal, Man United, Man City. I'm going to come on to Man City in a bit. What are we thinking? If we sell them to other random teams across Europe, I'm alright. But we can't be selling them to, their, to our closest rivals. We are in the weakest situation compared to the big six, apart from maybe Tottenham, who are just Tottenham. But then, we're strengthening them even more and weakening ourselves. I really don't understand what we're playing at. And coming to Man City, Matteo Kovacic is in personal talks with Manchester City. Pep wants Kovacic in his system. I think he's going to fit in pretty well with Pep's system. And yeah, it's another one of our key players throughout the Europa League runs, the Champions League runs, the Champions League winning season, last season. He's been one of our key players. And we're giving him off to Man City like it's nothing. Ah, oh, the new board, the new board is just so... They make such weird and illogical decisions, it's so irritating to watch. And moving on from that, we've seen that Pochettino is already making moves. And he is doing what he wants, which is a good sign. He sends Jao Felix back to Atletico because he says he wants a small compact squad and he doesn't want Felix. Which, personally, I thought we should have kept Felix, he was doing pretty good. But I like the signs that Pochettino is saying what he wants and it's being done by the Chelsea board. So that's 100% a good sign. One more guy who's leaving is, uh, what was his name? Dennis Zakaria, of course, the one who came from Juventus on loan. Didn't work out, played a few games. Started, I mean, he made his debut like four months later or something. Scored against Juventus in the Champions League. Or was it Juventus? 
he scored in the Champions League game to get his qualification during the round of 16. That's all I remember from Zakaria. Got injured. So yeah, good boy. Thank you for your few games of service. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is apparently going to leave to AC Milan. That is almost confirmed. Trevor Chalaba is looking to go to AC Milan as well. We are just planning a clear out at this point. And I have no problem as long as it's not to any one of the big six. That is the only concern I have. And including Newcastle, Brighton or Villa. Because these clubs are also rising. We have to look at them as competition at this point. Next up is N'Golo Kante. Apparently... We were going to get the contract done. He was he has one year left on his contract. He was going to sign an extension. He was... I mean, it was all going well. And then apparently now he doesn't want to sign a new contract. The one he wants to leave to is PSG have potential interest. But he wants to go to Saudi. Now, a lot of you have heard that Benzema is going to go to Saudi. What Saudi are doing is they... The country, not clubs. The country of Saudi Arabia is offering these big name players contracts they're like we can send you to any of the clubs you want we're gonna let you live here tax free we're gonna pay for housing just come and pay here uh sorry play here because essentially what they want to do they want to increase the level and standard of football in saudi so that they get accepted to host the world cup in 2030 that is the goal so benzema messi ronaldo's already there and now kante is the one they're looking at so Kante could be leaving. I mean, personally, I think Kante, if he leaves Chelsea, he would not regret it as something that he could have still done more. I mean, he's won everything. But then I still think Kante has a lot of years left at the top level and that he shouldn't leave Chelsea this often. Sorry, not this often, but this soon. I don't think it's his time to go to the MLS, the Chinas and the Saudis of the world yet. I don't think... He's that old. I generally think he can do two, three years at the top level easily. If Thiago Silva can, then Kante can. That's what I believe in. And speaking of Thiago Silva, we aren't looking to make any defensive signings this window, which is not surprising considering we bought so many defenders last year, but still we lost so many defenders last season. And Thiago Silva, who's our best defender, is probably doesn't have more than two more good seasons in him. I'm sure others would say one, but I think he can do two more good seasons. So, se- defend. I mean, guys, we know the club is a mess. But the signs are looking positive. The way Pochettino is, you know, asserting his dominance, I really like that. But I just hope that the Chelsea board get up to speed and do not offer 30k to top upcoming players. Because that is going to lose us so many deals but let's see, this one isn't done at all. Udate still wants to come to Chelsea. Let's see in the following days how this transfer window plans out. I think Udate will be a Chelsea player. I think he will be the first player that is announced for us this transfer window. Apart from maybe Nkunku who's going to come in. So yeah, that is it for this video, guys. That is all the transfer news I have for now. Another piece of news I have is that Havertz might be leaving even though Havertz wants to stay and personally I have no problem with Kai Havertz I've said it so many times on the channel I want him to stay hopefully he stays so that is all for this video guys if you enjoyed do leave a like and subscribe to the channel we're trying to get to 500 subscribers this month hopefully we sign some good players hopefully we sign Harry Kane that is the one hope I have this window even though it's probably impossible and I'll see you guys in the next video guys goodbye